Okay. Uh, shall I go? This is the multi-special image of the first hidden page. Uh, you can just start to see this print coming in now from under the handwriting. The pages come from two old red log books. One is from an elderly painter up north, and it had 11 pages cut out. The other logbook was in the time capsule at the Natural History Museum. As you know, our friends were able to <coughs> borrow that book from the museum tonight. Uh, we found the 11 miss missing pages glued down tight in the second book. Some other images were hidden by painting over them. It's actually a lot like the famous Archimedes Palimpest. The Palimpest? Oh, come on, everyone knows that old story. Uh, the last great codex of Archimedes' works was made in the 10th century, but then in the 12th century, a Christian scribe took the past parchment out, scraped off all the ink, and re reused it for a prayer book. Around 1899, someone realized something important was hidden in the pages. Finally, a scholar realized what they had. Besides all of Archimedes' clear classic stuff, bodies floating in water, equivalents of planes, spiral lines, spheres, blah blah blah, it had a weird children's puzzle. And the big surprise, the method of mechanical theorems. You know, infinitely many stripes, infinitesimal width, all that lot. It's a pretty neat trick, 200 years before calculus. Well, anyway, this didn't stop the books. Uh, next, I'm from thinking he might improve the, the value of the Palimpest, if only it had some nice religious illustrations. So around 1938, he forged some fake Byzantine icons in the book. Parts of the codex seemed lost, till in 1999, the parchment wound up at the Walters Art Museum and imaging teams from around the world got a shot at it. The RIT people got a lot of images using a liquid crystal tunable fi uh, filter and, and, and 10 nanome nanometer wavelength bands across visible light from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. Then they tried a, a pseudo-color technique with ultraviolet and broad brown white. Then finally, they got seven different LEDs, deep blue, blue, cyan, red, green, amber, orange, red, and red, I believe. Uh, they take thousands of images on their RGB camera and feed it into their supercomputer for processing. They wrote an imaging program called Archie 11 one for Archimedes, of course. I uh, appropriated their software and simplified it for my Apple. I called it Archie 11 one Get it? Mr. Arthur? Yeah, yeah. Don't tell anyone. They even have a thing where they use continuous X-ray emission from a synchrotron to fluoresce the old ink. Anyway, the ACDSL doesn't have millions of pounds in this year's budget, but we don't need no stinking linear accelerator. Just some good old-fashioned strobe lights, coloured glass filters, and my old black light from the university. And you have a multi-spectral hack. Feed it all into RT 1.1 and you get to see images hidden 50 years ago. You can read some of them already. Bloody hell, where did that come from? That, that ghosty looking thing, is that, is that a, a dog?